Did I do it? Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Oh, welcome everybody again to another episode of the Cobb Brothers Podcast. This is number 85. And- Four. <laughs> all right, thank you for joining us for episode 85. Oscar ruined the steam. We can all go home now. Thanks for coming back. Isn't it Oscar. 85? No, it's 84. I have 83, the last one on it's my notes. 85. You, you weren't, weren't here, here last week. Who were the fuck are the notes there? <laughs> you weren't here for them. I took notes. Hey, anyway, back. Uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, it is episode 85. Uh, joined, as always, is uh, uh, David. Hello. And then this Iris. And, mm. and uh, <laughs> Oscar. Uh I, I have to be here like 24-7 to monitor you, you crazy fucks. And Colton. Uh, eh. Yeah. 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 Same energy, bro. Get on a level, bro. Come on, bro. Go, go. So yeah, well, Oscar, welcome back to the week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the you, podcast room. Uh, as you see, everything is real. Yeah, it looks very nice. Because this is the first time that you've seen it today. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, we pulled a mad prank on Oscar while he was gone. You fucking you got, gobbled the good thing. Uh, dude, I got you. Yeah, I yeah, got you. Fucking... Well, well Prince Harris was watching my cats while I was away, and uh, he put these doctored photos of game <laughs> covers in my games without me realizing it. Mm-hmm. It's the greatest fucking thing I've ever received. Yeah, you can go to youtube.com slash thecobbros3117. What? We have numbers in our handle for some reason. What? Really? Yeah. <laughs> if you add us on YouTube, it's 3117. We should probably change that. Yeah. yeah. That's news to me. Yeah, we should go look at I've noticed look at it, it does that with some channels. Yep. That's a bit sussy. No. Yeah. Why? Why is it Master Chief's number though? Because we're. Or no, that's one three three seven, isn't it? No, it's that's one one seven. One one seven. Hmm. Weird. I don't know. Leap backwards. You know what's because it's because the the CEO of YouTube sat down. She decided to fuck us over specifically. Yeah, yeah. we're just okay, too cool. I agree. We're just too cool. We're too intimidated. We're almost a hundred subscribers, and she's like, "They can't let this power grow." Yeah, mm-hmm. thank you, everyone. Yeah. that has uh, been tuning in recently again. You guys are awesome, and we appreciate everything you guys are doing. So uh, leave a comment, and when uh, when you first picked, saw us or picked up on us, you know, yeah. it yeah. might have been Cyrus's uh, cr- uh, critical, I mean, uh, moist critical uh, video. Right. It could have been yeah. me critically it, realizing video. that it wasn't me, fucker. Right? It, yeah, that was. Gosh. Could have been me screaming at Bar- Brett Favre because fuck him too. and the it's Packers. Brett Favre. Brett Favre is the son of a wait, Just gun, kidding. son it's, of a bitch, son of a gun. Hey guys, moisty here, moisty, moisty. With that being said, though, like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Please, it helps three us Three away from 100. We are three away from... Excuse me? 100. Hey, yeah. if you're subscriber 100 and you can prove it, I'll send you a signed toaster. A signed toaster? Wow! Well, oh we my should God. be able to figure it Wait, out, that right? Fits, that, we can fit that in the budget. Uh, do Jesus. they still make Hamilton Beaches? Because it'll be one of those. <laughs> as long as their profile isn't uh, private, yes. It'll yes. be Black and Decker. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. You know this already. Black and, we, don't, we don't do Black and Decker around here. Why not? They're on the same level as Sunbeam. They're trash. Sorry, dog. Sunbeam. Ryobi. Yeah. I ain't never noticed. <laughs> a Ryobi toaster. Fuck yeah. Isn't that yes. the tool? <laughs> yeah. Is that a Milwaukee? You can charge your 12 volt battery and plug it into your toaster. Uh, my phone just died. Oh. So I can't take notes. Okay. That's uh, Do you want my phone, dog. Isn't it charging? Yeah. Right. <laughs> nice. Right. I have a better charger over here. I'll, I'll let it charge up. Welcome no, to Cobb no, Rose Charger phone. Phones, episode hmm? 85. Oh. Uh, well, on this week's it. episode, my phone's at 19%. Oh, oh. If we had a double USB-C cable, I'd just charge your phone for my phone. That is a double USB-C cable. Does yours do the power sharing one? Where, yeah. Like, I could just put it on the back of your phone? Yeah. I have oh, there you go. Yeah, I see. I'll, just be, I'll do my notes off of Cyrus' phone on my phone. Well, that, yeah, there's some plug it and take out the cord. Well, no, because it's a fast good. charger, so it's working. Yeah, he's already got the fast charger. He's already going to go. Samsung. Good. Fuck yeah. iPhones. I'm just saying right now. So anyways, what were we talking about? Toaster bits. Toaster? Where are we really? I'm going to send a toaster to our 100 subscriber if they ah, prove it. Yeah. Send me an email. Cobbros inquiry. It may or may not be gmail. filled with com. corn. With proof of In birth. In the description. Proof, proof of birth, please. We need to make sure you're not human. Mm-hmm. I mean, we need to make sure you are human. <laughs> yeah, we're, maybe. I, I don't. I, we could have rep, reptilians listening to us. I don't care. I mean, yeah. If you're a reptile, hey, hey, shout out to Kuzak. Reptile, reptilian man. Somewhere but over there. Shout out to reptile. Shout out to reptile. Nice. From Mortal Kombat. Right. Good combos. Mm-hmm. Six stage he was on. Uh, Reptar. Reptar, yeah. Uh, Shout out to Reptar. Cool. Godzilla. Thank you, Godzilla. Go, his name is Gojira. Gojira. That's Gojira. a band. I like that. No, band that's the actual Japanese Shout out to name. all members what does of it Gojira. Mean? Fuck if I know. I'm not ha, Japanese. Ha. See, I know what it means. It means whale bear or bear whale. One or the other. Oh, it's neither a bear nor a whale, so that's pretty it's dumb. It's a giant it, lizard. That's what, it's, that's what it means, though. I don't think. Look brain. it up. 
Okay, it doesn't matter, Brandon. It's not <laughs> I'm not saying it's, it's what it a is. Giant lizard. I'm saying what it means. Uh, I mean what I say. <laughs> well, look at it. It's a giant thing in the water. That's looks. It's like a little bear. What about Dumbledore? He's a giant wizard. What? I don't see the. Wait, what? I don't, how how the... do we get out of Harry Potter? Dumbledore's Irish for smoke a lot of weed. Okay, here's the real question. And that's Dumbledore, that's smash Doobie Door. <laughs> Put that down. I'm oh, sorry, Do- Doobie. Dumbledore, oh, yeah. smash or pass? Smash. smash. Absolutely. Nice. Good. You tell me he does the best wizard penis in the world? <laughs> Kidding me? Let me show you my real wand, Harry. Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> He's got the actual Elder Wand down okay, there. Okay, real talk. How many <laughs> dildo wands exist in the Harry Potter universe? Two, not enough. They're magical. Okay. Not enough. They can, there's, you know, you know what? There's probably someone that has a market. They probably look like wands and they expand too. Yeah. There's probably someone that has a market on it and it's just a single, like a monopoly where it like, adjusts to the, whatever you want. Wow. Yeah. Morph into whatever you need. You know what I mean? And like, hmm, do I want to be fucked by a horse today or by or something else? And you're like, oh, it's a horse dick. Horse it is then. Ah, yes. It's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Tuesday horse dick Welcome day. Welcome to Tuesday. Wow. Okay. We're five minutes in and we're talking about. Horse still does. Thank you for coming back, Oscar. Horse Thank you, everybody. Is here. I really yeah, fucking see? missed you. Yeah, see? I'm here to help, I'm here to help fellas. Yeah, here to help. It, it, it's justified derailment. Yeah. Wait, what? What? what are you trying I'll to say? show you derail what it meant. <laughs> no. God. What? All right. Uh, let me uh, okay, throw a question out, out there for you, fellas. What you got? Uh, you, you, all, you all know what AI is. Yeah, we all know what AI is. Yeah? No. What's Lovely. an AI? AI is an artificial intelligence. Whoa. I'm getting yeah. smarter. Yeah. So it's 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 always like a, a robot had a brain, and like could think. Whoa! But robots right? don't have brains. This is like the uh, beast. But think thing. of like a digital. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So, uh, knowing that, right? I, there's been a lot of AIs in in, uh, in video games, right? right? There's most recently Atomic Heart with uh, Charles in your glove or whatever, right? Yeah. Charles. Charles. Perdon. Yes. But yeah. Uh, Speaking of which, that, I, what, what, what caught me off with that game was that he was just such a dick to the glove, like, right off the bat. Right. Like, he didn't give a fucking chance to, like, he yeah. asked, like, Brandon was telling me on a party one time, like, he, he asked the glove a question, and he was giving him the answer. He's like, sh- sh- why, I think I don't know that. Fucking sneaky. <laughs> Stupid. But it's got me thinking, what, uh, what is your guys' like, favorite AI companion in the game? Cortana. Cortana. <laughs> Halo, yeah. But what, why? Well, fine. Just fucking. No, ask, I'm just saying. Just fucking ask the question. No, I'm just, okay. Why? Why Cortana? Why Cortana? Cortana in the fucking Halo Two was awesome. Well, like her, her like she's yeah. just a model or just everything. Oh, okay. That's yeah. true yeah. as fuck though. Cortana in Halo Two is probably legendary, and it's it's. I would say a close follower to that is uh, the um, Guardian from Destiny Two. Oh, uh, 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 Ghost? Yeah. Dinklebot? Original OG OG Dinklebot? Not no Android? No no (laughs) Android. Look, I will say no Android has come a long way, and he has a lot more emotion in his voice than Dinklebot did. But Dinklebot was Dinklebot, you know? Everyone everyone loved Dinklebot. Sorry? What are you saying? I was writing stuff down. What's up? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, uh, what is your favorite, um, uh, like, AI robot or AI companion you've had in the game? Sorry, oh, the, Zorna keeps game? calling me. Oh, somebody keeps calling yeah. yeah, she's so popular, Oscar, because she's so hot. Um, but I try. I'm trying to think. Um, so, obviously, I heard you mentioned Cortana. Cortana and, and then, then he said Ghost for De- from Destiny. From Dinklebot. Um, I don't know. For, for, uh, what you th- for you think, for, a while, um, for me, I would say it would be Vega. from Because I was pre- replaying Doom Eternal. And, like, Vega is just literally the literal bro. Because Doom Slayer's like, I need to fucking get over here. He's like, all right, well, here's the pathway for it, and there's five guns right here for you. Go ahead. The Outer World is pretty funny when the ship talks to you. I'm, That's Outer your World? first interaction. Oh, yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, the ship in the Outer World is pretty funny. What about what about Mr. House, then, if we're going for, like... like, like the, Mr. Oh, House exists, He wasn't though. an AI. He wasn't an yeah. AI. Oh. He was more, he was like... attached to a computer, pretty well, much. Did. Play the oh, game okay. more, dude. Yeah, I actually yeah. haven't beaten it. I don't want right? to We've been it. over this enough times. I don't okay. want to spoil it, but you can confront... Mr. House, the real yeah, Mr. The real House. Mr. House, in yeah, all his okay. glory. Yes. It's Listen, I'm just it. trying to crucify Benny. I've been saying this since we've talked about for the first time we talked about New Vegas. Mm. It's really easy. Just trying to crucify Benny. That's so does that make the robots AI like the um the one that follows you around? I forget what his name is. Um, the sheriff, the Yeah. Fuck. What is his? Uh, the um, right? Victor. Hello there, partner. Victor. Victor. Yeah. yeah. Victor. Hello there. Was, safe travels, failure. Would you say uh, uh cool. Boone is a AI then? No. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go with you. Half a fall. Delane. Oh my that? god. Uh, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. The He's little the, taxi uh, type. 
The, ah. Yeah, the taxi man. The, the evil taxi AI. Delamain is hilarious. <laughs> His mission is like, get taxi stuff. AI. He's not necessarily evil. Ooh, or the, uh... Nah, I think he's the, evil. The, Chaotic the, evil. He's the good. fucking motherfucking... Motherfucking, uh... The bitches in, uh, Portal. Oh, Gladys, yeah. Gladys and, and what? Gladys the, the, and... Whatever the other Wheelie. dude. Wheelie, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see. Fuck. Now I'm those, thinking. Those ones are pretty great. Damn. I'm, I'm probably really like my choice because Weedy was fucking hilarious and yeah, like he's a good. That was a good character. <laughs> right. <laughs> I didn't play much of that. Oh, what about the dog from fucking Half Life? The big robot dog that like follows you around. Yep. No. I was I was just getting ready to say Half Life. I'm gonna the, be honest. Dog. I've never played a Half Life. I have no idea what it's about. Uh, nuclear bombs. Nope. Legalize them? <laughs> yeah. No, I have no idea what Half Life is about. Yeah. I just know that it's very popular and it was made by Game Newell and he can't count to three. And so. then they picked it all up and moved it into Gary's mod. Thank you, Gary. Yeah. And, no, and then they came out with Half Life uh, Alex, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah that was like VR. the sequel, quote unquote. Yeah, it really is a full fledged game. It's not like a gimmick. Mm -hmm. I remember playing with uh, on David's VR system when it first came out because that was when Dave bought <laughs> You bought the Vive, right? Uh, no, I have... No, we have quests. The quest, yeah. Okay, so you have the quest. I remember sitting in what used to be the living room down here. Oh, right. I'm and sorry, drawing we on have the whiteboard. Rifts. Yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Colton. We, we have ri Rift S's. We both have the same headset. Okay. Yeah. It was wow. whenever you bought that one. I remember it was after Ellie's baby shower. Yeah. And we came over here, and I remember I was just sitting there doing calculus on that fucking whiteboard. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> calculus. Like, the Dude, opening, there's over. so much to do in the opening rooms, it's not even worth playing the rest of the game if you're just there for the gimmick, because there's just right. shit to pick up, throw around, hey, look, Rubik's Cube, boom. Bonk. And then you that forget was, there's a whole game behind it. That was really a brilliant design, though. It's such a good hook mm -hmm. uh, introduction. Get you in there. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, they did a good job on that game. I ought to go back and restart that one. Have you played any of the other Half Lives, or is like as Half Life Alex like your first experience in? I have Half Life Two up there, which I played when I was like uh, probably seven to eight years old. So nothing serious. Yeah, but yeah. I've been nothing like stuck with you really. You're just like, oh, look at this shit. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Let me jump over here. Dude, the it's orange survival box, horror. Survival oh, horror. The orange box uh, was great when it, for consoles because it was like the first, yeah. really the first time. Like PC only games were coming to co to consoles, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. And fucking Team Fortress Two. I remember just thinking hours and hours in Team Fortress Two as a medic because Dude, whenever of... when everybody else was playing Team Fortress, I was playing StarCraft still. Well, they were honing their blade. <laughs> I was in the class studying my APM. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice silence. No, I, sorry. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's all good. Fucking where'd it go? Bum, well, yeah. So bum, best bum, bum. best AI from I, I think I still sticking with Vega though. Vega. Yeah, Vega. Okay. I just like the fact that, like he just literally helps you out without any like he just does it. Mm -hmm. You know he, just, he knows what you need and boom. You're, Can you yeah. consider Navi from uh, Legend of Zelda to be AI? She's just like more of a guide and well, yeah, but she doesn't really exist. Navi's she? a fairy. Yeah. No, fairies don't exist. Well, there you go. You just said <laughs> it. They don't exist. They don't yeah. exist. Man. They ain't real. She's a guide, but I mean, she is artificially intelligent. <laughs> well, she's a guy, like, so. This, How about temporary, uh, temporarily intelligent? The Normandy, the ch the AI from the Normandy, from oh, Mass okay. Effect. From Mass Effect. Oh, oh, Edie. Edie, Edie yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But she, but she, because she's a, is she like an android? No, she's an AI. Yeah, she's an right? AI. yeah. Mm -hmm. She's, I'm she's sorry. Right. I was just thinking of additional ones. No, no, you're right. You're right. And an android's technically an AI. That is true. Yeah, to find out more information, look up EDE Rule 34. It gives you right, guides and regulations. <laughs> That's exactly what it gives you. I Save search this. off. If you need it. Reference episode 70 for this discussion. <laughs> uh, Wu Long Fallen Dynasty. You boys heard of this? It's on Game Pass. Mm -hmm. the game, day one Game Pass, which is I thought was pretty nuts. It's uh, another Souls-like clone. Yeah. Some like weird, cool gimmicks to it. I tried playing it out. Uh, no, I'm I'm alright. I've had my fill of Dark Souls like gaming and such. I played Elden Ring for an hour and I I'm I'm okay on all of those. I will cease. Wait, what if you what is like some Souls likes you guys have played? All of them. You played yeah. three, I know that I played Brandon. all I played all the Dark Souls. I played all of them. I never beat any of them, but I played them. I, I played, played all of them for about the same amount of time, which is like an hour and a half each. I Oof. played them most through three. I almost so we're probably like halfway through, three quarters of the way through. I'm contemplating getting the new Dead Space. 
The remake? Yeah. It looks so good. And since I got that 4090... Just fucking I... ray tracing aliens, dude? <laughs> right. Brandon, would you get a Dead Space 3 remake? Would you play that? Yeah. Co-op, dude. Co-op remake? They're yeah. fucking... Dead Space was was really cool that they did they did implement a co op game into a co op mode into that like that, that sort of game. Yeah. Usually you don't really see like co op in survival horrors at all. Yeah. If it, anything, it made a huge difference in the game. You, you were less terrified to go through things because you had your buddies screaming in your ear with you. <laughs> yeah. Was that the was Dead Space Three that had the commercials that say like don't let your mom play this, and they would show commercials of like moms like getting oh it's gross oh my god. Huh. I think it was I that. I think they're like one of the marketing was like they were don't don't, don't let your mom play this or whatever. That's the fuck. funny. I don't remember that. Well, what other what other what so I have horrors have you guys like sat down and actually played through? Alien Isolation. Did you beat that one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah the I only one on my table is it's... probably Outlast. I did Ooh. that one too. Did you That's complete cool. Outlast? No. I can't do it. I beat I it. I watched my. I cousin can't do it. I can't. I actually couldn't do it. Really? No. <laughs> I gave it, up. It's terrifying. I was. Bro. I was playing it with a friend, and then they left, and I never picked up the game again. I had no ambition to beat it. Like, <laughs> we should do it. Let's Absolutely. play in that. And see, has I started to play? It. I have it. I have it too. I, I, it I might have too. At one point, yeah. I, my my favorite survival horror game ever was Extermination. What's that? It was on PS2. Never heard of it. It it was like an alien style survival horror game. Mm. Huh. All right. It, it, you just like were they invaded Earth or something or? I think I have the old PlayStation Two Resident Evil Four somewhere around. Oh Let's my. see here. Uh, I'm trying. They're remaking that actually. To believe it or not. Really. It. They're remaking Resident uh, Evil Four. It was a top secret research facility in Antarctica. Uh, um. It's like the thing. Almost. There, there is. They received a distress call from aforementioned base. The distress call requests immediate airstrike on the base. Instead, they yeah. get sent in and en route. The plane malfunctions, scattering the team, crashing in the tundra, and then it, it's basically alien, where like stuff mm -hmm. starts popping out and turning people, and like they get turned into like alien monster things, and you have to kill your whole team and stuff like that. All right. I like how they they send a message saying, "Hey, please blow this area up," and they said, "Okay, we're sending in a team." <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Um. Fucking hey, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. It's okay. Uh, oh, there's uh, been a lot of those these days. I train played it. Wait. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 Did, you, did you guys talk about this last one, last episode or no? We talked a little bit about it. The one in Ohio. Yeah, but it, they just keep happening. Yeah. And like everyone's just like glossing over the fact that all this shit's going on around them too. They're like, yeah, eh, whatever. But yeah. Uh, Speaking of crazy shit happening in the world, though, like Africa is literally splitting in two. Dude, are we gonna see Black Panther Civil War? That's a tool there, song right in two. God, there, there. there is a new ocean forming on like the eastern coast of africa like the the continent is literally splitting that's fucking global wild. warming how did they find the that out the, the there's been a fault that's been splitting for a long time and it's to the point now where water's actually coming into the middle of it it's because the tectonic plates are shifting apart wow damn is it just like earthquakes or is it just like natural movement of them just well Tectonic it's causing plates. earthquakes. Yeah, te when tectonic plates move, they cause that's what causes. But what earthquakes. makes them move? It's just the earth. So the, like, it's earth. Yeah, there's solid an, rock floating on molten rock. Right. And here's so a couple move. of paragraph like article from the archaeologist.org. A new ocean is being formed in Africa. Geologists have confirmed that a new ocean is being created as the African continent is split in half. An international effort has revealed that a 35-mile-long rift appeared in the Ethiopian deserts of the far region in 2005 and is probably the start of a brand new sea. Oh my gosh. That's a recent insane. study published in the Journal of Geophysical Research Letters combines seismic data from the rift uh, formation to demonstrate that it is driven by processes similar to those at the ocean's bottom. The tectonic plates of Africa and Arabia collide in the desert and have been gradually separating for about 30 million years. 
The same motion has also split the Red Sea, but this is only happening at a rate of a fraction of an inch per year. Oh, but it's still it's going, but slowly, super slowly. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. If it's going up by a quarter of an inch every year, that's it's not going to happen in our grandchildren's lifetime. But it's happening. It's happening. It's not my problem. Yeah. <laughs> that's what a lot of the countries are saying right now about that. Not my problem. Ain't my, ain't my soil. I'll tell you who. No, it's it's separating at a rate of seven millimeters a year. <gasps> Can't do it. Ooh. Can't nations, do that, like, five like, of nations like Zambia and Uganda will have their own coastlines. Stick, dude. Live it up on the beach. We're going to have new uh, spring break bo- uh, spots in Africa. Spring break spots. Hell mm-hmm. yeah. Even though it's, it's not entirely safe. Maybe the ocean will make everyone happier. Yeah. And it'll be even safer, you know? Yeah, how's Long Beach? They just gotta light the beam. Light the beach. Light, light the, the beach. beach. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up the ocean. <laughs> we blew up Malaysia. <laughs> I blew up Malaysia. Uh, Michelle, well, I pushed the wrong button. They <laughs> also they have also discovered uh, 640 miles of Mayan ruins under the forests of Guatemala. I saw that they have video of that. Holy shit! Yep, really? them wandering through. L- lasers. They used lasers and Freaking found a very large heads. village. An underground village? Dude, it's just like Black Panther Wakanda forever. Well, it's like The Pedro. ruins of a huge Mayan town were discovered by researchers buried underneath the rainforest of Guatemala when they surveyed the northern part from the air. Wow. Holy bits. As, as per the report, the region, which is near the Mexican border and is spread over 650 square miles, is called Mirador Calamul Karst Basin. Nice name. Kazunte. <laughs> so funny. The city has to be at least 2,000 years old. Holy and shit. there's around 1,000 settlements um, with causeways. Man. Wow. Do you think they, they built the aqueduct feature for this religion? The, yeah, they the had, causeways they had like were, were navigable was- and 110 miles long. God damn. And that was all without heavy machinery they built that. They put that was supposedly no, without that, right? heavy Great. machinery. Yeah. While well, was theirs. I mean <clears throat> what uh, what? What? What hey uh, <clears throat> Hey bro, come on. My bad, my bad. That was a cough, man. I must have done. sorry. Nuts. <laughs> David over here eating nuts. No, you are. Oh. It, if they had actually made it to iron civilization like we have, that stuff would have turned back to rust by now. Yeah. So they just use uh, stone to make it pretty much. Yep. Good solid so they, stone. They very well could have had like bulldozers and backhoes and everything, but by the time we're finding it now, it would literally have turned back into nothingness. Mm-hmm. Oxid- oxygen's a bitch, dude. I need it. That's though. what's actually killing every single human being is oxygen. The same stuff that we have to breathe is simultaneously killing every one of us. Sick, just like alcohol. <laughs> Love it. I have to drink it, alright, guys. Yeah. I have to. Guys, it's a necessity. That's why antioxidants are important. Oh, like squirt and Coca Cola? That's the one. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. The one. Alright, perfect. That's Remember, it. Remember, kids, go drink all the Coke that you possibly can. No. No, don't do that. If somebody offers Just you Coke, take rub- it. It's healthy. No. Rub it on your teeth. No. Yes. No. No, <laughs> no, Coca Cola. Just rub it on your teeth. That's when all you're saying. No, when you're done. that you're is saying that Coke. is how you're going to end up rotting your teeth out of your skull. I said as long as you brush your teeth. Yeah, just do it. You're still gonna time. rot your teeth out of your skull. Ask Brandon's mom. Whoa! Whoa. Hey, 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 come on, no, let's Dang. be more friendly here. Dang. Civil discourse. All right, Uh-oh. dude, are we getting the gloves on? That was that was a slight diss. <laughs> No, no, we're all friends here. We're all friends. No need to cut anyone's mother into this. <laughs> she works for a fucking You know who dentist. else's mother is getting brought into this? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's uh, that's a good point. <laughs> that's why he said oh, he oh. always worked for a dentist. Oh, whoops. <laughs> like my whole life. <laughs> no, it don't matter. Why are you bringing in her into this? This is a conversation between the five of us. <laughs> well, if you ever Sorry, see my, my mom and you bring in your teeth, you would be like, oh, do you need any floss? We have some more things up there. Do, how many times do you brush? Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just... uh. Just in shock at the diss you threw at Brandon's mom, but then we realized he. Oh, no, I wasn't. I wasn't dissing her. It sounded like one. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I just didn't react, and then everyone started laughing, and I was like, "What?" Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait it's I like no, it. like she's giving me shit about not flossing my entire life. 
You don't floss? What the? Mm, mm, I'm uh, the words. Flossing. Neither words. <laughs> Twice a day, right? Hey, you're lucky I brush once a day. I think you're lucky. I, mean, <laughs> I, have, I have just my teeth. <laughs> I like flossing. Flossing. You know that kid makes music now? The flossing kid. He he the runs. Yeah, he does. No, the kid that says I'd be flossing. I don't know who the fuck that is. You don't remember I'd be flossing? No. It was the guy that was standing on stage just fucking getting it with the floss. With Katy Perry? You yeah, think so? With like, yeah, the backpack with on. The yeah, backpack, backpack oh, kid. Yeah, backpack. Yeah. His name's okay, Backpack okay. Kid. That's right. Um, Not yeah, flossing he, kid. He, he's always on TikTok Live making beats, and everybody's always in the comments like, hey, these are the type of talents that stay hidden. And <laughs> Dude, shit. <laughs> oh, my. That was fire. Don't release it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it in your fucking basement. Yep. Yo, this is unreleased. Stay that way. <laughs> Please. Yeah, he was making some goofy ass beats. I like I check it out every once in a while. Dude, he's having fun. Yeah, he's a, how old is he now? He's like twenty or something. If you listen to my beats, come on. <laughs> Your beats are astounding, sir. Immaculate. What the fuck? They're uh, immaculate. Um <laughs> recently recently, three of us played uh Battlefield twenty forty two. Did after, we? After their uh update that they did with the uh what's it called? The operators. And man, what a what a game. It is a completely different game from when we first got it. It's come a long way. It's come a long way. You can like actually see like there's no. I feel like when I first played it before, I was always stuttering whenever I'd run around. Mm-hmm. Whenever I showed to people, it was like I couldn't focus. And you were playing on a one X. Yeah, so it wasn't like you were playing the three sixty. Yeah, three sixty. Yeah, which is like, oh, why? Why is it like I feel like I stutter? But now it's like you were. You said something about it, like about it, where it looked like it's sixty frames, but it's not. But it's just it like it, it looks like smooth. crisp. Yeah, yeah. Like they took out motion blur like automatically yeah. or something. But no, it's. I was having fun with it. It was a great game. After it like, is really fun. Yeah, once it, like they, is they it polished better it than up. Battlefield Four. No, no, no. That's that's a really hard argument to go against with Battlefield Four. <laughs> it's better than Battlefield One. A lot of things are better than Battlefield One. <laughs> <laughs> Halo Five I, is better I'd than say Battlefield. It's a pretty 1. on par with Hardline. Halo right Infinite is better than Battlefield One. Halo Infinite is better than Battlefield One. Yeah, but yeah, it's it, it's about as fun as Hardline, but it runs better. Okay. Yeah, we were fucking around with yeah. this, the fucking lap four. That though. lap four goes Holy hard. Holy shit! Yeah, it's just this little <laughs> four wheeler. That the, the seating is weird. The driver's in the middle, mm-hmm. and then the back seat it, right behind him is the gunner, and then there's two passenger seats right next to the gunner. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. the gun, the passengers can only look forward and like kind of to the back, but the gunner has a fucking grenade launcher. Hell yeah! That you can upgrade it stupid. to having a fifty millimeter cannon, auto cannon on the top. Yeah. <laughs> fucking nuts. For a scout vehicle, and we took we took what like three rockets to that shit, and we were fine. Yeah, and once I had joined the game, they were driving through a tunnel, and there was like you know those smaller tanks. Yeah, like there's one person one. It was yeah. driving towards us, and I just fucking pulled out the rocket launcher and shot it, and it just fucking boom. Oh, okay, so you're able to like jump out the window, or not jump out, but like lean out the window. Yeah, and shit. It, it's wide enough that you can like about that much of an angle. Okay, outside the car, you can't look directly up, but you can shoot like horizontally yeah, yeah. right freaking For, forward into the sides yeah we, we, we were driving around that one time and then what was it we, we fucking rammed into a tank or something i rammed into a smaller uh hovercraft. transport vehicle yeah it was a hovercraft, hovercraft. and it just, just obliterated ex- it, it obliterated <laughs> it's so hard. i shot a rocket at it and it damaged it and then you plowed through it <laughs> you hit it so hard yeah. it kicked me out of the game back to the main menu <laughs> damn so that's a hardy fucking hit too much to process yeah, yeah. It, I was, it was couldn't handle it yeah. on my screen on my screen i like we were we hit it, it exploded, and I saw Cyrus got the kill, but then we were like in slow motion flying backwards. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Yo, dare I say it, 2042 is it's, it's awesome. It's right a goofy now. game. Yeah, it's, it's a really funny, goofy game. They did something, and yeah. it worked. I don't because... know. I don't know if it's because I took off the bias glasses or if they've actually they made like up decent the fun changes. Up. They did. You yeah. can unlock um, guns from Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2 to mm-hmm. use in uh, 2042. You gotta do like the That's two quests cool. that it gives you. Yeah. I like that aspect of it a lot. Yeah, so I you could be in badass. fucking 2042 running with an M16 A- A3 or whatever. Yeah, it's fucking just fucking... <laughs> Barn Door, you and I played that uh, playlist where it was te- Team Deathmatch on all the old school maps and yeah, stuff. Yeah, every game... That was it, badass, too. Yeah, every game, it was a different... Um, map from a bo- different like battlefield? It's a different battlefield every game on wow. Team Deathmatch, yeah. See, like, that's another cool aspect of it. You can right. go back and do the portal. And it's full XP. Yeah, it wasn't portal. You know? it, it was one of... It was like a... Featured it playlist. was Portal, but it was a featured playlist. Yeah. So it had full XP. Yeah, yeah I mean, the ones that they feature and like put up the yeah. things for usually will do XP. That mm-hmm. wasn't a, 
of release content was it mm. full xp and portal it was no. half it was only just weapon progression you were getting it's probably right. because they have official rules that you can now put onto maps and stuff to, right or not maps but just like different the game servers modes and they probably made yeah, a few yeah. official game modes too like yeah, what we, so the you don't have playing. people running around with half health and then you just one shot each other yeah respawn right. instantly and stuff like that just to increase xp the one we were playing was a uh, friday night battlefield or whatever right I think that was just uh, a feature conquest playlist. Yeah, feature conquest. Okay. Yeah, we should definitely try out a feature portal playlist. I'm down. We were it doing, was fun. Yeah, yeah. We, what was it like the 1942 ones are on that one, and it looks yeah. like mm-hmm. fucking chinasty. Yeah. yeah, the 42 ones were on that. We played one of those. That was kind of fun. It's it it's revived. Mm-hmm. They did a good job, and it's playable. It's enjoyable. Uh, they definitely did a lot to it and enjoyed it and like fixed it up real yeah. nice yeah it if, felt like they tried if you go back to our like our first couple episodes because that was right when we started the podcast right was when 2042 was really being hyped and that was kind of what we were asking for we were just looking for another battlefield 4 to have stupid fun in. exactly right and, but the, the first game we went into was exactly what we got yeah, it was the first game goofiness okay. all around okay so here's my next question uh cabros battlefield 2042 server with official rules probably yeah point. yeah we could totally do that that'd be yeah. fun and then yeah. get some nice get some other people fucking to check out the channel hosted if by it... our hundred subscriber hey <laughs> yeah. no i don't think you can private host those i think you have to host them on their dedicated whatever sure yeah. which is yeah which you, is you fine, can rent a server in game mm-hmm. you can still add a custom name and shit you know? dedicated my wham uh, we can make the <laughs> banner in the server just be like the link to the channel can it be a picture of a QR, qr code, code. can it be uh a picture of corn with giant titties if it's not against the rules yeah i don't know how. i mean look if we look at battlefield 4 right the, those and we go play on that bad. one server we always play on what's another that, that banner for the, the server we always play on titties right. darth darth vader titties yeah yeah and they haven't taken it down and how long it's we've been, been playing on that server since the game came out almost 10 years yeah and it's it's still up. Can you imagine that guy just raking in all the no money that he's making? <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but what a dedicated man that was. Can you imagine selling ad space on your server banner? <laughs> he probably does. He not have a Patreon. He probably I, in the league. Probably does. I yeah, wouldn't know there. anything more than we just play on the server. It's a server right. that's been up forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, and I, I fucking appreciate those people that just keep those servers going. No cause, kidding. Because like those champions. are the real heroes. Those are the real MVPs. Those unsung heroes. Are probably right. just groups right. of friends that only played Battlefield Four. Yeah. yeah. But they are unsung heroes for sure i mean without them where would we be definitely community (laughs) servers because fuck that but uh yeah 2042 has been fun the tanks are fun to fucking drive planes i can't last more than like 30 seconds in but they're cool (laughs) oh i showed brandon my piloting skills earlier it's terrible oh they're great so bad at fantastic Freaking! What was the, the one, another game we got in where I called in a tank because you can like call in like random things like airdrop mm-hmm. it in, and I fucking got to the <laughs> bottom leaderboard to the top of leaderboard in that tank, Hell and yeah. I stayed on the top of leaderboard like what? what it's just, they're nuts. Bringing back or, well, I I guess they've always kind of had the uh, showcase squads right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Since like what one? When I did think, they yeah. implement that? Yeah. One. Yeah. One. I think yeah, in yeah. one or five is when they started like showing the actual. Because four, they it just gave you the, ba- the you had to hope for the banner of the A squad to be like no the ribbon, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. But now it's like they actually showcase like, oh, you fuckers suck. This guy did. You guys got yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a way if it just shows the people, but in 2042 now it shows like stats highlights. And stuff. And, yeah. I, I remember joining a game late because like it does the best squad, and then it shows you individual highlights within your squad, mm. and everybody gets a highlight. I joined a game right as it ended, and I shit you not, my highlight was time alive, 14 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I didn't I do it. anything. I spawned in, ran three feet, and the game ended. Hey, you're a hero. You're mm-hmm. a goddamn hero on that yeah. battlefield. You're welcome. <laughs> Perfect. I didn't die. Perfect. As, there is a, there's a way to get like yourself as all three of the showcases that everyone sees, right? No. If you no, you know. No, I don't think so. It showcases three top performers. Three. Yeah. There you go. Whatever the game determines is a top oh. performer. I don't know if it's random or if they just go okay, kill, kills at the top. And then something else. Yeah, yeah, I know there's like most revives is one of them. Yep. To pick most up revives, most people. Yeah. Most captures. Most captures, yeah. Vehicles destroy, timing of vehicles. Like ran- just a bunch of random Objective. Shit. Yeah, ran- just a bunch of random stats. It's usually the ones that probably have the most XP tied to them. Mm, right. Is what they show on it. Right. Yeah, so you get a lot of XP from reviving people, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I play Medic. You always, I always got to need the team out. Need the team. The, team. the only way to host a 2042 dedicated server is to pay a third party company. Like Nitrado, no. right? Yeah. Yeah. If they have them. 
If they have them. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, now we know. So pr- pr- keep an eye out on our social media feeds to find out if we have a Cobros official uh, uh, server on Battlefield. If not, we go to Battlefield 4. People are playing that. Yeah. Many people are playing Subscribe to our Patreon, and then we can actually yeah. host the server. Yeah. Sign, a, sign up on Patreon, and I'll send you a free toaster. There you go. There you go. There you oh, go. that's a lot of toasters. You gotta be ready, buddy. Well, only the first, per- the next person that does it. And the next twenty-four hours. Limit, yeah, limited <laughs> Wait, time offer. Wait, how, how many tiers do we have on our Patreon? Three. Yeah, it's three. It's like top tier. Ten dollars. C- Cobb or out of four, so you get the a toaster. first top tier Patreon gets a free toaster. Gets a free toaster. That has like like a, a wrapped around it, like a wrap of of corn on it. Okay. So it looks like a giant corn toaster. I'm sorry, start advertising it. We'll make a channel trailer. Okay. Hey, you want my toaster? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you would, but yeah, yeah, you can win it. Um, People take broken parts of cars that are signed, so an operational toaster? Fuck yeah, sign me up. <laughs> Free toaster? Sign me up. Dude, that, dude what was it? Uh, Peter Parker... And Aunt May went to the bank to open a new freaking account because they were going to get a free toaster. Yep. And he, that's how they, if he wasn't there getting that free toaster, he wouldn't stop Doc Doc. Doc Doc. Dr. Cox? Doc Cox. Dr. Cox. That's the one. Thank cock. you for clarifying. More cock. No. Where's my toaster? Octo cock. I want my toaster. We still get the toaster. Ooh, actually, you have to open up a new account oh. with us. <laughs> okay. Can I put ten dollars in the account? Cool. Can I withdraw that and close my account? And give me the toaster. Give me the toaster. <laughs> yeah, they hand you the toaster, and then you're like, "I'd like to close my account." <laughs> While shoving the toaster like in your jacket or something, and then looking at. We well, gotta put toast in it first, and then in your jacket. Yeah, yeah. You don't want an empty toaster in your jacket. Wait, so like if like the the, 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 the banker at their desk, you just plug in their toaster, pull out two wait. things of bread, and just fucking do it. Hey, can you wait a minute? You don't put oh, toast in a toaster. You put bread in a toaster. Oh, of course, I oh, forgot. I bread? No, I said bread. No, no. Ev- S- Iris said, said toast. toast in the toaster. Um, yeah, you put bread in the toaster, and toast comes out. Is that how like water is a solid? Can be solid in a gas. A toast bread can be toast and bread. Please put water in your toaster. <laughs> Do not do Wait, that. Water no. <laughs> your toaster. If it gets it, stuck it, in there, fish it out with a fork. Exactly. I was, no. I was about to fucking no. say that. You this is horrible it, advice. Do not do this. Do not listen to this. These two maniacs. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Use a spoon. Yeah, come on. Be no. more simple. Butter knives get in there easier. It's <laughs> if, if, if you, if you <laughs> have gold wish. silverware, it'll work better. Because it's or more aluminium. fancy. <laughs> yeah, because you know gold, you know, conducts electricity. Allegedly. Than... Or if you have copper silverware. <laughs> Copperware. Oh my god. Who the fuck would have <laughs> copper silverware? I don't know. Do people Somebody that people wants to drink die? um uh <laughs> it's it's it, out of Moscow mules, you're supposed to drink them out of a copper cup. Yep. But I thought that was just like some like like I don't know, a It doesn't give you cup. the pour your Moscow mule in a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> a, a copper toaster. <laughs> That's the title. <laughs> pour your Moscow mule, mule in a copper toaster. toaster. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Uh, do you still put the lime on the edge of it yes. so that you can? Yeah, like, you salt yeah. you salt the two slots as well <laughs> as you pour in the drink. So you, you know how they have it. like the mats that you can put the glasses in. Can we get one custom fitted for it? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. There's like two slits for the slots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, wait, wait, guys, wait, write this down. Write this down. Write what this if down. I got a four slot toaster? <laughs> well, you know, double the action. That's two. That's too. Uh, that's too okay. rich for my taste. Too oh, rich okay. for my taste. Oh, Okay. Have you guys seen you those should. toasters where they're like hot dog toasters? I was just about to say that. You stole my thunder. <laughs> hot dog th- toaster? Yeah, so the, ho- the one hole is like that, and then there's a circular one. So you put your dog in, and then you Don't put, put your, your dog in the toaster. <laughs> 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 you put your dick into the toaster. No, no, no dick toasters, please. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a hot dog toaster. Yeah, it, 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 toasts, it toasts the butter and it they cooks the hot dog. Of, yeah. They have bagel toasters, too. N- no, isn't that like a regular toaster? They have ones that are specifically designed for bagels. Interesting. Anything to get you to spend your money. Fair enough. Yeah, I want. I, I want. I, I look at Sky Sky Magazine or whatever the fuck it's called. Sky, Sky Vault. Mall. Sky Mall. Thank you. On the airplanes, and I, I've always wanted a Vader toaster when I could bust that shit out to fucking toast a Darth Vader. Toast have you ever bought anything from Sky Mall? Or the Darth yeah. Vader waffle iron? Yeah, I, do, mm-hmm. I love eating Darth Vader's face up. They have Mandalorian ones. Yeah, what? Mandalorian uh, waffle makers. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I fucking... I don't want... God, I, I, I'd buy one, but I don't need a fucking Mandalorian waffle maker. I remember I got Jelly the uh, the coffee maker. Is that one? Oh, yeah. Work, or did, did you guys just keep it in the box? Well, we, well, we, used, we used it once, and then she uh, mainly just uses the uh, the mug. Got it. Because the mug is sweet. The mug is fucking sweet. The mug is pretty fucking Yeah, cool. it's a little... Toy. It's I, like... 
I bought this really cool University of Nevada mug Ooh. At, on campus, like my last semester there. Mm-hmm. It's got a cork bottom and it comes with a travel lid. What? It's the coolest thing. You don't need a coaster because you can just set it anywhere you want. Nice. That's fucking Obviously, sweet. you can't put it in the microwave. But you can put it wherever you want. So like, it's, you can take it to class and then put it on the desk. Yep. And it won't bother the Super professor. cool. And it's got a travel lid and it's not going to like blow up or whatever. Right. Whatever coffee mugs do. Um, whatever coffee mugs do. I'm so mad that I bought one because I'm like, if I break it, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> so I went back to campus a few months ago and I went to the student store to see if I could go find it. They don't have any. Oh, oh you got lucky. Yeah. Uh, then we go for the Nevada game last Tuesday. We played uh, San Jose State. Go pack. And I was like, see, so yeah, I need... Nevada gear. Let's go to the wolf shop and buy a sweatshirt. And I'm trying to look for sweatshirts, and there's like nothing good in there, as it turns out. Because as soon as I graduated, every everything went to shit. Yeah, all the cool shit I was, was holding like... campus up. You know, me and me alone. <laughs> um, That's why your shoulders hurt every day, just carrying mm-hmm. that weight. Um, and then there, Lord behold, on the sweat shirt, the sweatshirt holder stand for no reason were three of those mugs. Holy shit! Oh, they brought dusted them, them off. Them. Yeah. I... <laughs> God damn, take it. Yeah, they were blemished. Like one of them's missing the end in university. It just says university. <laughs> nice. I don't know why, nice. but uh, yeah, and I have two of them, so I like akimba those bitches when I'm sitting at home. <laughs> but I, with double game raspberry substance. truffle, this one's got gamer subs in yeah. it. I'm caffeined up and probably about to pass out. <laughs> heart's beating, heart's beating a mile a minute. Doing a laundry and <laughs> eighty push-ups at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that's yeah, cool though. Cool Cor- Cork's bottom. That's a, that's a nice. Cork's bottom. I like that. Yeah, and or. Key. Yeah, don't spend a lot of money on coffee cups. I yeah. realize, like, they have like really expensive thirty dollars designer ones. Ugh. Why? Go to Ross and get a tub of them for twelve yeah. bucks. Like, you if you're like gonna get a, a gimmick piece of like merchandise, make sure it's something like quality. That's quality. Yeah. Tyson has a lot of mugs that we buy him, and they're not microwave safe, nor are they dishwasher safe. But they just look like normal fucking mugs, and it pisses him off because he's like, "Okay, cool. I can't do anything with this. I got to hand wash it and let it dry." Right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I have, right, a, I have a top tier dishwasher for a fucking reason. I bought a dishwasher for a re- It came with the house, but I still am paying for the house. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, like, I don't know if I should make that joke. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fucking, yeah, get, get some quality gimmick shit if you're going to get a gimmick shit. Like uh, your corn wrap around your X Series X. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, perfect. That's perfect. Tasteful. It's tasteful. Uh, next up here, I got, uh, you got, you guys remember a little old game called Dead Island? No. No. Uh huh. Not a little bit. Never fucking I mind do. then. Yeah, no. I know. Is that like an island covered in the dead? It is. Oh. Well, Colton knows what it is, but uh, if you could explain, you men's the game that I got a hundred and two hundred thousand gamer score in. No, so you do means- know what it is, and you're just fucking lucky. Me- making the one me like that me and Cyrus yeah. played through all the way. Yeah, that's where I got the hundred thousand gamer score. Remember? Yeah. We took wow. a pause. <laughs> <laughs> we paused so I could sit there and scream in my room. <laughs> <laughs> I was seventeen. Okay, it was a big deal. But um. How long, how long ago did that that first one come out? Years. Twenty eleven. Twenty eleven. We, middle school just started for me. Well, guess what? After fucking like ten plus years after they announced Dead Island two, it is coming out this year in April on the twelfth, and it's going to be the second one. The second one. It's technically I the third one. I didn't enjoy the first one. The first one had issues, but it was. I, I thought it was fun. Yeah. I, for me, I was I I played it. I had a little I had fun with it. I just didn't like the fact that like it was like stamina base. You know, I had like oh man, that was that was that was irritating. Yeah, I was like fuck, I can't do shit. And now I wait for the shit to retard. It was an element of the game I didn't think belonged. Yeah, and I thought the weapons broke way too easily. You, just keep way, you get a really good weapon, like an orange tiered weapon. You swing it four times and it's already half broken. Yeah, whereas like Bullshit. you compare it to like Dead Rising, where like those things will last you a good minute before you have to go go out and build more. And when you uh, build up your character, they last longer, and you can grab uh, skill books that make it last longer. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the thing I remember most about Dead Island is uh, I did like the driving. I think it would benefit from being more of an open world if it wasn't stuck on a 360 and PS3. And when the weapons broke, like each weapon had its own unique animation. So, like, Did if it? you had, like, a bolo machete and you broke it, it would just be, like, hella bent over to one side until you fixed <laughs> oh my it. God. So, it was visually, like, you had the feedback of, this weapon is broken. Fucking fix it. <laughs> Fuck it, don't use it. It also had damage numbers on screen. So, when you smack the zombie and you're only doing two damage, it would be just a broken piece of shit machete hitting a zombie for two damage. Yeah, go fix your time. shit. Fix it. Fix it. Get another battery I to think fix so, your machete. With Dead Island 2, it is going to be more open world. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's going to be based on, like, around Venice Beach in L.A. Yeah. So you have all that space to just. I, I around. still believe Dying Light's release really fucked up Dead Island 2's development, because Dead Island 2 just kept getting delayed, mm-hmm. and because it was announced, 
It was supposed to come out in 2015. <laughs> Dying Light came out at the beginning of 2015, and then it got hit with delays. And it felt like they Dying looked Light at, was just so good. Yeah, they probably looked at their product compared to Dying Light and went, uh-oh. We got to overhaul <laughs> shit. And then it moved. I think it's on its third or fourth development company right now. Like the it's the game we're getting is most likely not the same game that was going to come out years. It's just and years the same ago. title. Honestly. It's the same title because yeah. it's being passed around studios. One studio gets its hands on it, then rewrite everything. The other you know, the publisher does. goes, "Yeah, we're going to pull the plug on it. Uh, hand it to somebody else. You're going to work on this." And so either they pick up what the other development studio gave them and start working on it, or they just kept starting over and making their own new thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's wild. So, uh. Wait, it's like is Dead Island on oh, Dead Island? Uh, like Dying Light, the like the definitive vert, like zombie survival experience. Yes. What about say like like st- another ones like State of Decay? No, I think Dying Light. I think Dying Light is good for like movement and maneuvering. Mm. Right. It really, put, it put together what you thought Dead Island was gonna be, and then they were like, okay, what if it felt nice to run around the map? Yeah. And you get skill points, and you can level up how you move up around the map. It also had nice collectibles, good missions. It had guns that didn't blow dick like Dead Island did. Did they have like conditions on them where like they would jam or break on you? Or? Um, it was it not, was deterioration, but not like total breakage. It's, I I think you could break the melee weapons, but not the not guns. guns. Okay, yeah, you All just right. ran out of ammo pretty quickly if you were always using guns because it's scarce. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but in Dev Island, it's like your weapons break, you run out of ammo. Um, oh god, you're tired. You can't run through zombies. By the way, here's here's three bosses that you have to kill. Three yeah. bosses you have to kill, and you didn't know that, so you have no weapons. You have a bent bolo machete <laughs> and two like two first aid kits or whatever the fuck. Oh my god, Days <laughs> Gone was a really fun game. That was on PlayStation, right? Yes. Yeah, that it's has on Steam now. Oh, okay. <laughs> it has um the voice actor for Darth Maul from the Star Wars the Clone Wars series yes, and the sir. and the character model for uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed two. Mm-hmm. Fun fact. Yep. And one. To so, go back to your statement about. Yeah. Sorry, one second. Um, mm-hmm. you, we said we were talking about how it's a definitive zombie experience. I think yeah. it's a definitive open world zombie experience because you still have games like Left 4 Dead, where like Horde survivals, yeah. Horde survival. You run through maps and arenas and it has versus modes that you can play through that everybody loved. Like everybody played versus yeah. in Left 4 Dead too. That was just a uh, like, that's I a game. Be, that's I a be gaming zombie. right. I could be the zombie dude. You're not a gamer until you play Left 4 Dead Two versus. Everybody's playing it. You can find a lobby. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's games like that are story driven, like The Last of Us. They're not they're infected, but <laughs> they're, like, they're infected by your mushroom. The <laughs> mushroom. The mushroom. Mushroom. As you're saying, it's David. a cordyceps. <laughs> um, I was just gonna ask. Uh, one Dead Rising and uh, Dead Island were mm-hmm. they Xbox exclusives? What was the platform the availability? The first Dead Island was on 360. And okay. Only. Dead, yeah, and then Dead oh. Rising Two was on everything. And then Dead Rising 3 was back to Xbox One exclusive. Because that was launching with the Xbox One. It launched one. with the Xbox One, yeah. yeah. Okay. There's special day one editions of that game. You got it. I know you do. No. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> you know how worthless the day one shit is? Like, remember they sold all this day one stuff, like the boxes. They had yeah. the controller that said day one, the console. It was just bragging rights. Pretty much. Is I it? don't think anybody really wants them anymore. No? No. Uh, The Dark Souls 3 I have is the day one one. And it came with a cool little keychain that I used to to scrape uh, uh, a substance out of another substance. Dog. <laughs> Ice cream. Were you scraping yes, resin? You no! You don't know that. <laughs> oh, like bow resin when you're yeah. playing your yeah, viola? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my viola. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. To, that stuff cl- to get kicked up on your yeah. fucking bow. Yeah, yeah. You need to wax it off. Yeah, yeah, you gotta scrape that so it doesn't, like, get off on the strings and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, um, day ones are like the same thing as like, well, I mean, it's cool because you don't expect to get anything from when you go out and get a game day one mm-hmm, and yeah. then you are, you're some cool shit, but like, they're, they're all right in some cases. Like they just added on for free, essentially, you know? Right. Right. But uh, don't pre-order back, games. <laughs> going back to science, uh, science, NASA confirmed that the DART mission was successful and actually Ooh. changed the asteroid's direction. Like Holy the dark, dark, the dark mission was when they crashed the asteroid or the the satellite into the asteroid to see if they could change its direction, and That's they successfully fucking did. Fucking wild! The satellite was like refrigerator sized. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah. Really? That's yeah. so cool. It, it, it was moving at like thousands of meters a second, just right into the bitch. Impressive. You know what's funny about satellites though? 
I was just looking up Sirius XM. You know how that radio service works, right? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It's like just satellite radio. Yeah, yeah. Beam straight to the fucking Beam car. Beam straight to your There's car. There's no dead zones with radios on road I was trips. looking up the price of it the other day because my car actually has a hookup for Sirius XM. And I was like, I wonder wait, how much wait. it is, just to be curious. The, the Explorer? My radio does. Oh, 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 I was about to say. I got a radio <laughs> and it's got a Sirius XM port. Oh, okay, okay, it's okay. It's fit okay. for an, uh, a Sirius uh, antenna. And I was like, I was curious. I know it's way too expensive. I wasn't going to do it. But I was like, I wonder what the prices are. I looked it up. And I guess the company's having huge problems right now because they launched um, on one of Elon's um, test flights for SpaceX. I forget. It was one of the Falcon rockets they launched mm. in 2022, 2021. Okay. They launched it with the Sirius XM satellite. And they were going to blast another satellite up in the air. <laughs> oh. It doesn't work. The oh, satellite God. just doesn't work. It, it, it commute came yeah, back. Yeah, they were thinking about expanding and creating a bunch of new shit, and it doesn't fucking work. And they also <laughs> offer their services through an app on your phone, so you can pay the same money for SiriusXM, but you can just stream it through your phone. Why do we have this satellite? Yeah, because you can just <laughs> pair your phone to the fucking car. If you can just pair your phone to a car. You don't even need the if you if your if your car <laughs> stereo can pick up a Sirius antenna. It can pick up Bluetooth or an aux cable. If not, right. it's got that dinky fucking cassette port with the fucking cable that runs out of it. Yeah. And you're going to plug your phone in. Yeah. Uh-oh, your phone doesn't have a jack on it? Buy a dongle. I have one. <laughs> Observe. <laughs> Observe. I put it away. I was going to fucking swing it around. Sirius XM is $18 a month. <laughs> Absolutely not. That is title money. Nobody buys it title. Yeah. $18, $18 a month for Sirius XM. My and mom's the- old car had uh, XM built into it, and so mm-hmm. we would get like a free month of it every now and again. Yeah. We got a free month. My mom bought a Jetta years and years ago, and we had a free month of XM, and it was the coolest shit ever. Dude, listening to the comedy radio instead of music, it's like, ha <laughs> It is nice. Good. It's superior quality, which is what right. they're going for. And they cuss. Yeah. They like, cuss on radio. Yeah, everything's little, uncensored. I got, I got three months free with my car I just bought. My problem oh, is, sick. is I'm not paying for it when I can just listen to Bluetooth music on my, my phone for, yeah. for like it sounds cheaper. just as good yeah there's a million ways to listen to free music have pandora days. and it's nine dollars a month i love radio mm-hmm. shows but that's kind of what podcasts are now it's like radio shows without the ads like some right. podcasts don't have ads wink and you <laughs> wink, can wink. To it all the way through wink yeah. <laughs> without getting some shameless ad plug-in now anyways a word from our sponsor yeah right yeah. and back to the show yeah <laughs> and the, the only last thing i had to mention science space related was the james webb telescope spotted six what they're assuming is galaxy sized objects oh in space that uh shouldn't have galaxies in them because it's too old like they're, they're basically saying that like it was too close to the formation of or too close to the big bang for them to have actually formed but they did whoa, whoa. Dude, space is wild, man. Jinx, suck my cock. <laughs> Wait a fuck. I don't think that's what? the thing there, buddy. Uh, I have a Coke for you right here. Oh, it's empty, but I uh, will go get you one. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's a, a soda. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Yeah, a box. Not sorry. a box. Sorry. Dear God. You just think about um, cock today? Cock on the brain? Cock on the brain, dude. Isn't that a Rihanna song? <laughs> I hope so. I'm going to go listen. Yo, to she was on the Super Bowl. Yeah, we were, you were there. Yeah, you watched it. You guys even talk about the Super Bowl? Shit was whack. No? No? Super Bowl was what, like two weeks ago? I'm kidding. Yeah. It was fun. Cry was fun equals day. cry. That we almost saw our yeah, prediction. Yeah, but it's another touchdown. KC victory. Fuck Kansas City, too. It's hard for Yeah, Raiders. as a Raiders fan. Yeah. I, I didn't care who won that game. I was like, ha Fuck Woo-hoo. whoever losses. This past really? couple of Super Bowls yeah. have been rough. But freaking, well, yeah. we almost saw a prediction of Mahomes running in for a touchdown. Almost. Oh, oh dude, he was inches. <laughs> inches from the fucking But fuck the owners of the Raiders for screwing over Derek Carr. Yeah, honestly, like, leave the, <laughs> let the man just fucking play some football. Has know? there been any word? He is. That's why going? they let him go. No. no. <laughs> That's why they let him go. Uh, it looks like Jets, Saints, or Panthers. Those are like the What top would you three. prefer him to go to? Jets. Yeah. Jets. Jets. Jets are a win now team. Really? Yes. Okay. They're, I mean, if you looked at their quarterbacks last year, uh, the Jets. what is it? They're starting with Zach Wilson. <laughs> Terrible. Zach Wilson is god awful. Oh, uh, look, it's dog doo Was Mike White? Oh my god, he's so good. White. They called him White Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, dude, Mike White was him. He was that him. guy. He, he was, was that guy. Him. 
Yeah, well, he went out because he got two nasty concussions in the same game. If I show you the hits by Matt Milano, holy shit. I can't believe he was still standing up. Like a train. It, it, it didn't a, fucking oh. be. Yeah, it didn't come out until like two or three weeks later that he had uh, six broken ribs. And he was trying to get, he went to five different doctors to get cleared to play and none of them cleared him. But you have six when broken five, ribs. When five doctors all unanimously go, hell no, that means something was wrong. Yeah, like, it's but a you, miracle you're breathing. Yeah, <laughs> it's a miracle you can even put on your pads. <laughs> and even come up to my office to fucking yeah. talk to me. Um, so he got benched, and their other backup was Joe Flacco. <laughs> he's oh, still fuck. playing. Yeah, he's back up on the Jets Good last old year. Joe. Yeah, he ended up getting <laughs> never, hurt. Never forget Joe. Yeah, but he got hurt, so they had to put in fucking Zach Wilson again. There was a game against the Patriots. They were tied 3-3 with a minute left to go. Oh Jesus. A minute left. What the fuck happened? To All the Jets had to do was score any points. <laughs> any points. Because the Patriots are playing like dog shit. The Jets had their number. The Patriots ended up winning because they um, got a punt return for a touchdown. They won. Wow. Ten, they won ten to three. The Jets wow. would have beat them if they had scored a field goal. some points. Yeah, anything. Even the Zach, rare, the rare one point touchdown. The problem was is that Zach Wilson was playing like dog shit, missing wide open receivers, mm -hmm. just taking sacks, losing yards and shit like that. <laughs> Inaccurate throwing picks, and then he came out in that press game, uh, the post press game conference, and they were like, "Oh, do you know? Did you feel like you were responsible for you know how the way that game went?" And he's like, "No, oh no, no," and he got benched the day after because <laughs> <laughs> the head coach was not happy. Yeah, I was like, "What the fuck did you say on national TV?" You stuff? put a quarterback. That is like better than Andy Dalton on the Jets, and they're winning. Derek Carr and Andy Dalton it was for the while was the average in the NFL. They were, it was called the Dalton line. If you were better than Andy Dalton, you were good. All right. If you were worse than Andy Dalton, you were bad. Shit. The Saints okay. colors are black and gold, right? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. He'd I wouldn't mind gold. seeing Carr go to the Saints because then it would just be black. It's and like gold. the same uniform, just with gold instead of silver. The only yeah, thing I, I think... say, the excuse me. I mean, <laughs> Niners only... need a quarterback. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you guys no. got three of them. And McCaffrey. And they're all broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. The only reason I say fuck the Jets, though, is because I know we're going to lose to them a shitload if he goes to the Jets. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, the Chargers look like they're going to really smack to free up cap room. Bring them home. Whoa. Bring them home. Whoa. Bring them home. Dude, please. Do it. Wait, which teams are The Rams? Yeah. Uh, Chargers. Chargers. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Same, oh, same, same, state. same team. Same, same state. It was same really, city. it was same really stadium. hard watching Khalil Mack on the Chargers last year. Yeah, yeah, because Car, Car and Mack are best friends. Oof, see, but that that's what would suck to see Mack go back to the Raiders because Car's not going to be there anymore. That's, that's why I want to see. I want to see Mack go wherever Car goes. Cargo. He could. Car goes far. <laughs> that's why Von Miller Cargo signed far. with the uh, the Bills. Like, I would like to see Khalil Matt go wherever Derek Carr goes. However, whoever, if they went as a paired, like, duo, mm -hmm. that would be a formidable fighting force. Yeah, just like the Raiders in 2016. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Thinking about the 2016 Raiders. Since we're on sports ball, yeah. uh, do you guys know who Ja Morant is? Hell no, yeah. I don't. Yeah, oh. okay, who is he, Brandon? Uh, he's John Morant. Ja. His Get name the fuck is out. Ja. He's ja? J-A. Ja. ja. Jaw? Ja. Like Ja Rule. Ja. Yeah. Ja or Ja. Ha. Morant. Ja. Like ja. the one true Ja? Ja, ja Morant. Ja. The one true Ja of Skyrim. <laughs> ja. Um, He's the dragon board. He plays for the Grizzlies. The basketball team? Basketball team, the Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, he's a really good player, and he's elite, and he plays all-star basketball. He was selected to the all-star game. Um, He's got run-ins with, uh, with controversies these past couple months. Uh-oh. Um... At the end of January, uh, apprentices of Morant aggressively confronted members of the Indiana Pacers party near their team bus. Later on, a person in an SUV, which Morant was riding in, supposedly pointed a laser at the bus. It was red. Uh, it says oh. the two Pacers personnel believe it was a gun with a security <laughs> guard noting to the police, it was 100% a gun. <laughs> They're gonna shoot me, dude. So there was an incident in the game where uh, players on the Pacers were irritated with John Morant's parents in the crowd, and they were going back and forth and arguing. And it got to a point where they actually threw out a couple of Pacer players. Um, wow! Tensions were so high after the game and shit like that, where obviously there was a, a SUV that Morant was in drove by the Indiana Pacers personnel and were just pointing laser guns at people. Whoa. What the fuck were they thinking? Um. Yeah. So you know, nothing happened with that. Whatever. 
Um, and then earlier this week, another news bomb dropped where it said that uh, it was reported that Morant is being accused of punching a 17-year-old during a pickup <laughs> basketball game at his house last summer. <laughs> <clears throat> Get the fuck off my lawn, kid. <laughs> uh, it says Morant punched the boy allegedly 12 or 13 times in the head, then went inside and came back out with a gun visible in his waistband. 12 to 13 times. It said 12 to 13 head? times is the estimated number. Um, it says Morant claimed self defense, claiming the boy <laughs> said he would come back and light up this place like fireworks. Uh, this happened four days after uh, a Memphis mall filed a police report alleging Morant threatened him and an associate that came over and shoved him as well. Wow. What? So basically, he's just going around he's thugging fucking, on people. Yeah, he's allegedly, a fucking menace. <laughs> allegedly, and then yesterday, March third, oh. uh, he jumped onto Instagram Live and he was waving a gun around, dancing with it and shit like that. And the NBA suspended uh. him two games today. Yeah, and people are now citing a clause in the NBA's contract that players aren't allowed to take deadly weapons with them around when they're traveling with the team and they're conducting NF NBA business and stuff like that. It's a specific clause yeah. in the wow. NBA code of conduct. And the problem is, is he wasn't at home in Memphis because Memphis is in Tennessee. Yeah. It's okay for him to own a gun. Uh, he played in Denver last night and they were supposed to play the Clippers tomorrow. That means he's somewhere between Denver and LA. That's definitely not Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a, one, a fucking idiot. Two, a fucking idiot. And three, three a complete moron. <laughs> Four, a fucking idiot. And a doo doo head. He may be stupid, but he's also dumb. Yeah. Um. There's that situation going on with the. Uh, did you hear about the uh, the University of Alabama basketball players? No. no. Uh, oh yeah. One of them went, or I don't remember if it was one of them. I don't remember the case off the top of my head. But know. there's uh, one of the members on the team. His name's Brandon Miller. He is confirmed <laughs> to have brought the murder of the gun. At 1 a.m. in the morning. What the they, fuck? They, they have, you know, they have the text messages where the guy texts them and say, hey, yo, you still got that gun? Can I have it? <laughs> yeah, sure, on my way. But what? there's nothing that um, Alabama can charge him with. So they let him go, and he's already back on the University of Alabama basketball team the week that it happened. Whoa. And he's been playing games and shit like that, and everyone's like, dude, why is this guy what playing? What the fuck? Yeah, he's been doing crazy shit, and they uh, came out in a... <laughs> Oh man, they came out um, pregame, and you know how they hype up the players and shit like that. They, the, the players were going around, and their pregame celebration was putting a gun up and yelling, telling them to freeze. And then he would put Bro! It and shit like that. Bro, that's like OJ pretending to um, stab that one reporter. Just completely tone deaf. And the coach after the game's like, "Oh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we got to be more, uh, more, more sensitive to these issues." It's like, homie, you're the guy playing him. <laughs> yeah, you, you said, yeah, he's good to go. It's putting a really dark light on Alabama basketball because they're having a really good year for the first time in a while. They were ranked number one at one point. Wow. And everyone's okay. like, God, Alabama's good at something else. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> good at football. Now they're good at basketball. And then we point at the Raiders last year, Damon Arnett. We drafted him in the first round of 2020, the 2020 draft. And he got hurt midway through last year. And he was the guy on Instagram Live that was waving around the AR-15 with the fucking beta mag on it. And the Raiders cut him the next day because oh, one, you weren't you. that great, and two, you got hurt. And three, you're waving a gun around online. And you're waving a gun around on Instagram Live, yeah. and that's why people like to make fun of the Raiders because they make terrible draft picks. He was another first round draft pick that just left the team because in 2020 we drafted two people in the first round: Damon Arnett and Henry Ruggs. Oh, and they were both off the team the same month. Yeah, uh, the same, same month. Same month. So I the, didn't realize. So that. the Henry Ruggs was the beginning of November, and I think. Arnett was kicked off early, early December. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking wild. <laughs> what the fuck? And you look around at like these incidents and it makes you think like, can I also be that stupid? And these people think, yeah, I can. Yeah. Gosh. So I mean, like anyone could be an alpha player then at that point. Yeah. If, if that's the case. Fuck. You know what? David, we're signing you up. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Millions of dollars can't show you not to make stupid decisions. You have to learn that yourself. Mm-hmm. But in the same month, that I didn't yeah. realize it was in the same month. It was the same month, yeah. Jesus. Super oh, the dumb. Same year? Super dumb Henry Ruggs, yeah. Wow. He's always one of those could have been stories. And now we just don't care. And he shouldn't get our attention. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah. Don't drink drive, kids. Bad nope. for your, bad, nope. Really bad for your health. Bad for other people's health. Wrap up this podcast because this old man is tired. <laughs> it is 11. You're an old man. So we've been doing about an hour now. About an hour? Okay. Anybody got any closing remarks? Uh... This is, I, for my lawyer's sake, this is a joke that I'm about to say. Uh, legalize nuclear bombs. Thank okay. You.
Thank you. She was legally required to say that. Unless you become a governor and then you can like pass legislation to legalize nuclear bombs. Crush your soda cans and put them in toasters. The Cobb Party running in 2024. Here for you. <laughs> no, Oregon, you can't crush your cans. They have to be whole because they have to be able to scan the barcode on the little machine thingies to give you money for them. Oh, I did not know that. I always it just really thought, sucks waffle my... because you can't have that many cans. Yeah. I would always just waffle stomp them when I was thinking about the barcode. Yeah. Waffle stomp them? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's around 140 cans in a regular sized garbage bag for anybody that needs to know. Golly. Okay. And the more oh. you know, and knowing's half the uh, battle. Don't take them across state lines. <laughs> Why? They will That's like. illegal. Yeah. They're That's on your super ass. Super illegal. Per day, Wait, I'm so sorry. like if we're, I'm on a road like, trip and I finish my can and I sit down in the cup holder and then I drive over mm -hmm. and then the cop pulls me over, they go, hey, run out of that can for me. No, if you buy it in Nevada and you take it to Oregon to sell it for recycling, that is super illegal. Same thing with huh. here in California. I tried doing that with my grandma and it, we were scared the whole fucking time. <laughs> wow. Very yeah, illegal. they asked for my ID. They're like, oh, where are you? You're coming from California? They're like, yeah, like, oh, and I show my California ID. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, okay, okay. And obviously, that's just a tall tale that you're telling, right, Oscar? It was theoretical. Yeah, theoretical, hypothetically. Of course. My, gran my hypothetical grandma. The can will. man's coming after you. <laughs> yeah. Uncle Can. Mm -hmm. I am Can Man. Yeah, it was yeah, fake. Huh? It happened in a video game. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. it's Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2, that's right. It was that's all right. a prank, bro. Yep. Don't take it so seriously. What was the name of this episode again? Yeah. Um, Reiterate it. Something with... We're going to put something in a toaster. Put your, yeah, yeah. Put your dick in a toaster. No, don't no. put your dick in a toaster. Your Moscow meal. In a toaster. Put your in Moscow a meal. To in a copper, copper toaster. toaster. Only if you're of legal drinking age, because if you're of legal drinking age and you put something in your toaster, you deserve it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have your mom do it. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. For Cobros only. Have a nice night. That's, uh, don't do that. We have to say that for legal reasons. Don't Stop. do it. Don't do anything. Call your trolls to do only fans. Play more video games. Bye. Check out our channel.